Hello everybody. So we're going to be looking at doing five different edits in less than four minutes. To keep it brief, I'm going to assume you have a good understanding of the software you're using. However, I will provide links to more in-depth instructions of each section of the video. And I would recommend shooting in maximum resolution and also to color grade and add sound to your footage. So let's get started. The boomerang. For this effect, we're going to get a clip of us zooming in. We're going to copy and paste it next to itself and then reverse the speed. And when we watch it back, we get this. The vertigo effect. This is a really cool one. What we're going to do is get some footage of us moving away from an object. We go back to the first frame and we set the scale and position keyframes. We then go to the final frame and we try to match up the size and the position of the object that we had in the first frame. Once we've got it lined up how we like, we get this effect. Zoom and move. Again, another really great one. Uh, all we're going to do is get an orbital piece of footage or some footage where we go sideways. We're going to go back to the first frame and the same as the vertigo effect, we're going to set the scale and the position. We're then going to go to the last frame and uh, we're going to have something we want to zoom in on. For this, I'm going to use these two turrets here. I'm going to scale in and change the position. And once you've done that, you'll get something like this. Uh, this is a really great way of making a dynamic shot that would be really hard to shoot in camera. The FPV effect. Uh, for this, we're just going to have a piece of footage going straight forwards and we can move side to side as well. Again, we're going to go back to the first frame and we're going to put a slight rotation on it for around 5 to 10 degrees. From there, we're going to scale in to make sure we get rid of those black edges. And then I'm going to move it forwards a little bit, probably halfway through, and we're going to rotate it the other way. And then again, I'm going to do that again for the last frame and rotate it. If you are moving side to side, it's a really good idea to rotate as you're moving side to side. Once we've done that, we select our keyframes and then make them bezier. This will make the rotation smoother. Once we've done that, we should get this FPV effect. The seamless transition. Now for this, you will need an ND filter so you can slow the shutter speed down and you will need to change the gimbal settings to make sure it's at the maximum pitch speed with the minimum smoothness. You'll need two shots where the gimbal starts facing down and flicks up really quickly whilst moving forwards. One shot will have what you want at the beginning and the second shot will have what you want at the end. So what we'll do is we'll get the first clip and we'll look where there's a lot of motion blur with the gimbal movement and we'll crop it there. And then we'll do the same for the second one, but obviously we're going to go to the start where it's really blurry and then we're going to crop it in and then we're going to join the two together. From there, I'm going to add in a crossfade and I'm going to make it a bit shorter. And then when we play it back, we should have this. Okay guys, so they are our five edits. If you would like a more in-depth tutorial, uh, you can click in the top right hand corner of each section or in the description down below, and it will link you to the video you wish. If I have not yet made a tutorial, leave a comment in the description down below of which one you would like, and I will prioritize making that video. That's it for this video guys, if you found it useful hitting that like button is a huge help to me as a creator, and I hope to see you in the next one.